Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Board with Live News for February 26th. Today we're going to talk about a new expansion for the game Eldritch Horror. We're going to talk about all of Cryptozoic's upcoming licenses. And we're going to talk about a new game called Age of War, which is actually a re-theming of an old game by uh, Rainier Knizia. Let's get right into it. Hey, welcome to Board of Life News. First things first, uh, if you haven't checked out our bit that we released yesterday uh, for checkers, you should definitely go do that right now. I'll still be here. I'll wait. Um, this by far has our largest kind of production value and our largest scale production for any bit we've ever done, and we're pretty proud of it. Um, so hopefully that's kind of a little bit of a preview of the type of things that we'll be more able to do if uh, our Kickstarter successfully funds. Which I guess our Kickstarter has successfully funded. Thank you! Um, but we'll be able to do more things like this uh, if we can start unlocking those push goals. Speaking of the Kickstarter and push goals, yesterday we released a... or Monday we released a How to Play for the Board with Life, the metagame, the micro game uh, that has Brittany and Nikki in it. It's pretty fun and you should definitely go check that out. If you backed it $10 or more, you're gonna get a copy of that game at the end of the Kickstarter, so that's great. Uh, the first push goal that we're about to unlock, we're like a couple hundred dollars away right now, is music by Big Gigantic Circles. Um, he does chip tunes. he did the music that uh, you'll hear in the How to Play video. Um, he also was kind enough to say that we can give a free digital download of his album to all of our backers, $100 and over. Um, so you should go check him out on uh, Bandcamp or any of that stuff, um, and then back at 100 bucks if you want to get that. So that's super rad. We're very happy about that. Uh, recently, the cast was on a couple of podcasts. Uh, we were on Rolling Dice and Taking Names. We were on Back It, which was a Google Hangout that's on YouTube. And tonight, we're actually going to record another Google Hangout with uh, Drive Through Review. So that's actually yesterday to you people, because it's tonight to me, and today's Tuesday, and tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, so definitely go check that out. Um, you get a lot of behind the scenes kind of stuff, uh, which is pretty cool, I guess, if you're into knowing what our lives are like, which maybe you are. Anyways, let's get into actual board game news. This week, Fantasy Flight announced an expansion for their game Eldritch Horror. Uh, the expansion is going to have 200 new cards that you just put right in. Uh, I'm sure this game is going to have a billion expansions because Arkham Horror has a billion expansions. Uh, so that's great news if you like that game. And if you don't like the game, then I'm sure you don't care about it at all because why would you care about that? Other news this week, uh, Cryptozoic released uh, like all of their licensed games that they're going to come out with in 2014. Uh, Cryptozoic is one of those publishers that almost every game they publish uh, is licensed. One of the exceptions is Gravwell, which I have up there, uh, which I like quite a bit. But aside from that game, almost all of them are licensed games. And here's a list of some of the licenses that are going to get games from them. The Walking Dead, The Hobbit, The National Hockey League, Archer, Adventure Time, Lord of the Rings, Naruto, DC Comics, and Portal. So out of those, most of them, they said, are going to be deck builders or uh, dice games, which are just things that are easy to slap themes onto. Um, and it's seeming more and more like Adventure Time is the new Cthulhu or Zombies because it is getting, like, a game every single week is being announced for Adventure Time. I really like that show, but I don't know. The most intriguing of all those is uh, Portal, which uh, is designed by the same people that made the video game Portal and Portal 2 which was an incredibly good, incredibly original video game in a world of video games where most of the stuff that makes a lot of money ain't that original. But um, it's designed by the same people, and I can think of a lot of ways that it could translate well to a board game. Um, it's pretty interesting how some of these video game designers are starting to get into board game design, uh, like Quantum uh, is designed by a video game designer, or Guts of Glory, um, and things like that. So I, it's going to be interesting as these worlds keep kind of overlapping in, in interesting ways. So hopefully that's a good game. Uh, that would be really cool, and it's a great theme to have a good game, too. All right, moving on. Fantasy Flight also announced uh, Age of War, which is a retheme of Risk Express uh, by Rainier Knizia. Um, Risk Express was a really popular game. I guess it wasn't even a popular game. It's just now a sought-after game because uh, it's been out of print for a long time, so people will be able to do that. For those of you unfamiliar, it's Elder Signs uses very similar mechanics, where it's kind of a Yahtzee mechanic. Basically, you have cards in front of you that you need to defeat or overtake or whatever, um, and you roll a set amount of die, and then you can use your different die with different symbols to beat each row of those. Um, Elder Signs is a cooperative game, though. This is a combat game, um, and it is exactly Risk Express, just rethemed with a kind of like Shogun era um, theme. Has really nice artwork. I think it's only going to cost like 13 bucks. Don't quote me on that, but uh, if that's the case, eh. My cat's running around. If you heard that, boom, 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 that was my cat. Okay, moving on to Kickstarter news. 
The Kickstarter for this week is for a game called Province. Uh, it's ending really soon, so if you're interested in it, go back it today. Uh, it is a wee tiny little worker placement game. It is uh, these micro games are blowing up on Kickstarter these days because it the risk reward is so low or high. I don't know. Very low risk uh, for potentially high reward, um, which is better than a lot of these other games that you know backing for fifty, seventy, a hundred dollars. That if they're not good games and they suck, whereas these you know if it's three, five dollars, eh, you know. Anyways, um, it only costs five dollars for the whole game, and it's a worker placement game, and it actually has a tiny little board and all sorts of little chips and tokens and stuff. And it's it seems pretty interesting. It seems like it's got some some deeper strategy. Uh, it seemed a little bit reminiscent of like um, Agricola, all, all creatures big and small. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of worker placement games, so that was a no-brainer back for me. The same company, uh, Laboratory, that is releasing this. Those two guys designed a game last year and kickstarted it called Shift. And the entire game was a single card. And it, it was, I guess, a single card and a couple coins, where the orientation of your card, it was like a fighting game, uh, dictated kind of what move you could do. But you could either shift your card uh, or each turn or attack each turn, and you attacked with uh, coin flips. Um, it was a really interesting idea of kind of... Apparently it started because he had the idea to have a, his business card be a game, an entire game. Uh, so they're doing some really interesting stuff, so uh, definitely keep an eye out on them in the future. All right, uh, that's the news for the week. I've got a question I'm going to answer in a second. Make sure you uh, hit up our Kickstarter. It's slowed once we hit our goal. It really slowed down a lot. My cat's still running around. Uh, so uh, we really want to unlock those push goals, especially Rich Summer. Uh, we're only, I think, like $3,000 away from Rich Summer, something like that. So he's well within reach. Um, so if... You've got a minute to do that. Uh, if you've already donated, thank you so much. Share it with your friends. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, now on to the question. And make sure you submit questions, because there haven't been a lot of questions, so I've had to kind of pick through less questions, which is fine, but, you know, questions. Uh, and this is submitted by Weapons Grade Tabletop via Twitter. They ask, what movies inspire you guys the most? And this question I wrote down, this is just a list of directors that I wrote down. Um, there are too many, so I'm going to kind of focus on directly which ones related to Board With Life and what we talked about in Board With Life and kind of what we are going after. Um, I definitely think Edgar Wright, uh, who did Shaun of the Dead and, and uh, Hot Fuzz and a bunch of movies like that, um, has a big influ influence on us stylistically on how we shoot the show. Uh, we regularly refer to them as Donald shots because he likes to shoot everything like it's Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Uh, and so I definitely think the visual style of the show borrows a lot from Edgar Wright. Um, then each one of us kind of has different points where we draw from. Like, Casey's really into The Simpsons, and it really shows in his episodes. He wrote episode two. Um, and I think, like, the Flankerin character is very heavily Simpsons-inspired. I'm more kind of on the Judd Apatow, Woody Allen, Louis C.K. side, where I did episodes four and five, which are kind of like sad, but also funny in the sad, and you kind of have both things overlapping at the same time, and stuff like that, um, I think it's really good. Yeah, TV shows like Arrested Development, Community, uh, The League, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Seinfeld, those kind of things, I think play pretty heavily into, um, kind of the idea that we're going for with the show, um, where we want it to be kind of a normal sitcom, but really push the envelope in that format, um, and the initial pitch that I gave to Donald for the show was The League, but with board games instead of fantasy football, where if you're into fantasy football with The League, you get more jokes, but you don't have to be into fantasy football at all to get jokes. Um, and that's what we want our show to be. We want it to be something special if you're into board games, something just for you, but at the same time, if you don't know anything about board games, you can still enjoy the show, and then maybe you're in get interested in board games, which that would be really cool, because we like spreading this cool hobby. Um, anyways, I guess that's it for the week. Uh, Thank you guys so much. You are absolutely amazing and absolutely awesome. Uh, subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff as always, and I will see you next week.